Hello and welcome, Thomas fans, to another Top 5 Sodor Moments. And welcome to my good friend, Stan. Hello, Nigel. So, what are we looking at today? Today, Stan, we're counting down the Top 5 engine rebuilds, repaints and repairs. Sounds very exciting. Let's get cracking, shall we? Well, straight in at number 5 is Glyn. Yes, now, Glyn's not a new engine, is he, Nigel? In fact, he's very old. That's right, Stan. He's almost as old as Stephen. Glyn was forgotten. Neglected. Abandoned. Ignored. Until he was discovered by Marion. Well, not exactly discovered, Nigel. At first, Marion thought Glyn was a talking tree. Quite right, Stan. It was actually Thomas and Percy who rescued him, and now Glyn is fully repaired and works for Sir Robert Norrenby. Also known as the Earl of Sodor. Yes, and he has a new and exciting career up there at Ulfstead Castle. Smashing. In at number four is James. Oh, yes. Now, James has had quite a transformation. A repair, rebuild and a repaint all in one go. You tell me more. It was after an accident which involved James's wooden brakes catching fire. Oh, looks nasty. It certainly was, Nigel, but this story has a happy ending. James was rebuilt with new metal brakes that don't catch fire. And he was repainted his splendid shiny red. Very smart. James certainly thinks so. So, Nigel, who's in at number three? At number three, it's Stephen. Stephen arrived in a crate. In a crate? Are you sure about that, Nigel? I'm positive, Stan. He arrived in a crate and was completely rebuilt back to his former glory. Yes, we're looking at a very special engine here, Nigel. In his day, Stephen was the fastest engine in the world. He went like the rocket. Stephen by name, rocket by nature. And in at number two is... Gordon! Oh, yes. Gordon was redesigned with special streamlining, which helped him go faster. Gordon was renamed the Shooting Star. And did he go faster and win the race like a shooting star? Sadly not, Stan. In fact, he broke down about halfway through. <sighs> oh, that looks like quite a breakdown. Well, that only leaves one more spot, Nigel, the number one spot. And it, uh, it goes to... Uh, it um... goes to a very cheeky engine that was once green. Oh, I'm with you, Nigel. There can be only one number one engine. And that's right, Stan. Thomas! Thomas! Who else could it be? Thomas was repainted to his legendary blue. And was made Sir Topham Hatt's number one engine. Oh, it brings tears to my eyes, Nigel. Yes, it's a heartwarming story of a very famous, very useful number one engine. You know what, Nigel? Someone should write a book about him. I think someone already did, Stan. Smashing. I knew that. Well, until next time, then. When we see you again for more Top 5 Sodor moments. Super. Reverend somebody, wasn't it?